Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Cisco Nate, and I'm here to show you today how to enable PLR, Permanent License Reservation, on a firepower system. So that means turning on PLR on the FMC that is centrally managing all of your firepower sensors. So first things first is we want to go over to software.cisco.com and make sure that we have licenses available and the appropriate license. So let's go ahead and log in here. So I go through my 30 layer authentication. There we go. Now that we're logged in, the first thing we want to check is make sure that we're on the proper smart account. Now most of you will only have one smart account, so we'll default to that, but if you do have multiple, you want to make sure this dropdown has the correct smart account. You want to navigate to license tab here and click on smart software licensing. Next, you want to load the inventory tab. And finally, you want to verify that you're in the proper virtual account. Again, most of you will only have one of these, but if you have multiple, make sure you're in the proper virtual account. Then click the licenses tab. And the license we are specifically looking for for PLR on the Firepower Threat Defense FMC is the FMC Universal License feature. If you don't have that license, stop now and call your PSS or CSS to arrange purchase or procurement of this license. You will not be able to complete PLR without it. All right, you wanna make sure your balance is plus one or more so that you can consume one of these right now. So everything looks good on the smart software licensing side. We can move on to the FMC to actually enable PLR. So we're gonna go ahead and log into our Firepower Management Center and we're going to look at the licensing just to enable everything is at the established baseline of no PLR to start with. To do that, we want to come up here to System and Cursor over Licenses. Now you notice it says Smart Licenses and Classic Licenses. This means it's in the traditional licensing mode, i.e. it is not doing PLR, which is great. All right, <clears throat> so to enable PLR, we have to SSH into the device via command line and enable the feature. So go ahead and open up your favorite SSH tool. In my case, the utility I use is MT Putty, which is multi-tab putty. I'm going to log into my FMC here. And you need to make sure you're at the expert CLI. If you're not, type the word expert and hit enter, and that will drop you into this command prompt here. Next, you want to type sudo manage underscore PLR dot PL and hit enter. And this will launch the utility that controls whether you enable or disable PLR. Now you can see here, just to verify again, show PLR status, it says PLR is not enabled, which we already confirmed through the FMC GUI. To turn it on, you want to hit 2 and hit enter. And you should see an affirmative response saying PLR has successfully been enabled. And it is right here. So this is great. Now to verify that, we can go back into the GUI here and look under the system. Now you need to refresh the page. So I'll hit refresh here. <coughs> and now when I navigate to system licenses, you'll notice it has changed the prompt to universal licenses. This is great. So we're gonna navigate to that universal licenses page and click generate. This generates a code that we then need to take and go back to the software Cisco licensing website. Now, most of you, if you're using this feature, will not have direct connectivity to both. So it doesn't matter how this license makes it from here to the Cisco Software Central website, as long as it gets from A to B. In this case, I'm directly connected, which makes it easy to cut and paste. But for you guys, you'll write it down, you'll transfer it, however you do it. So I'm going to take that code, I'm going to navigate back to Cisco Software Central, right back to where we left off. And I'm going to click this button here called license reservation. In this box, we're going to paste the reservation request code, which is what we got. And we'll hit next. Now you notice it switches to which type of license do you want to reserve? In this case, we're doing the FMC universal license feature universal license, and it's already checked through the radio because it's determined via the request code what type of license you're getting. When you click next, review and confirm, yes, generate authorization code. Now this is a two-way street. We gave it a request code, it validated it on the back end, and it generated an authorization code back. Now one important distinction to understand here is 
As far as Software Central is concerned, your device is now already licensed. If you check in here, it'll show the product instances already here, even if you don't complete the rest of these steps. And that's because this is, again, a disjoint system, an air-gapped system. So as far as the website's concerned, you have licensed your device, but we still have one more step left, which is to copy this code here and put it on the FMC so the FMC knows it has been authorized. So go ahead and click copy to clipboard or download as a file, write it on a piece of paper, whatever it is you have to do. We'll click close and click product instances here. And you can see, as I said before, that as far as this website is concerned, we have already licensed the device. All right, so we'll go back to our Firepower Management Center, go to box three and paste in that code and click install. There you have it. It gives us a virtual product instance uh, ID here, and you can see that we are now successfully licensed. Notice all the check boxes. And it's automatically generated a license for a firepower sensor that I already had registered the device. So we know this has been successful. Thanks, guys. Join me again on another video. Have a good one.